Hello, 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 hello. If you're on the stream right now, um, I'm gonna be doing Polish dig graphs and telegraphs. I do not know how to say it. Let me see what that says. Uh, dig graphs, Polish. I want to say that I know what it is. So this I'm kind of wasting time, but I'm not. Um, Polish English, right? So. Digraphs and trigraphs. Digraphs and trigraphs. Digrafy i trigrafy. Digrafy i trigrafy. I'm going to be doing both. This is what I'm going to attempt to focus on for this today okay um let me see if i could i haven't shared this anywhere so you if you're at this part of the stream then you're just at the early part this is not where the stream starts i'm just organizing myself so what i do is i share it to places so another thing that i did um is on do well here i can show you my duolingo so there's some Duolingo right there. That's where I'm at with Duolingo. That's awesome. And you could go look at some of that. I've been working on this by myself, trying to beat the kids. When I go watch the kids outside, I'm doing Duolingo. They're all Polish, so that I, I kind of yell at them with Polish. So I got, in, got some pseudo studying in. Okay, I'm going to groups. Let me focus. Let me see if I can do two things at once. Talk to you about my day and post this up to, you know post this up um, working on uh, working on digraphs how do you spell that dig graphs dig graphs if someone could help me so that's what's gonna be the what else did I do today? I'm also did this Google Calendar. I got a live coaching session with Rosetta Stone. So if you got Rosetta Stone and you want to see what the live coaching is like, I'll be streaming that tomorrow from apparently 9.30 to 10 a.m., so a half an hour. Um, Digraphs. Um, I'm working. And then I think I'm going to be taking the alphabet a little bit more seriously and like kind of taking a step back and going through the alphabet and then start pulling myself from there forward post uh, working on digraphs, working on digraphs, working on digraphs. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. If again, this is all pre, this is all pre this is all pre uh stream i'm just bringing in some information you could tell that i'm such a busy guy uh literally there's nothing on my calendar um and then after that i might work on that so that part's done now the only thing left is to post it on to here Okay, so I got that all handled. Now I could technically start. Okay, there we go. Shut that off. Let's get this all set up. Polish English, throw that on that side. Um, but we're going to be focusing on these digraphs. She did this four months. Polish girl next door. Sounds delightful. Uh... Where are we at? Uh, what is it? Uh, no, it's not. I always remember goodbye first. I always want to go do vizenia. So it's of Jane Dobre. Jane Dobre. Oh, I made, I made, what is my, uh, what is it? Notes for vlog. So it's uh, Jane Dobre. Yes. What is it? Duolingo, no, 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 Jane Dobre, 
Y vitam nobre kelele. That's not it. I'm supposed to say, my name is Stan. Wait. My name is Stan. Mom, mom, na, ishma. Mam na imie Stan. Mam na imie Stan. <laughs> That's me. Welcome to the stream. I feel like there's things in my pocket. That's going to bother me. I don't want to be bothered. Um, I'm on my freestanding. I'm on my freestand. Wait, wait. I don't want to be bothered. I'm on my freestanding desk. Siedzę na moim wolno stojącym biurku. So hopefully my back posture gets better. Więc mam nadzieję, że moja postawa pleców się poprawi. So, let's see how long I can do this Polish did graphs. So this is all I'm going to focus on. So what I searched was, what did I search? So that's what I search. Polish dig graphs and tie graphs. Polish dig graphs and tie graphs. Press enter. So if you want to, if you want to, I can go to stream. See what I'm looking at right here. First thing. Polish dig graphs. And there's me on the top. That's hilarious. So we're going to start with this one. Welcome back to Witam ponownie na moim kanale. Welcome back to my channel. We're now going to focus our attention on these double letters that exist in the Polish alphabet that make their own sounds and their combination provokes some new sounds. So this very first letter combination that we're going to focus on is C H C H. And no, it does not produce the sound ch. It does not. In fact, the only letter combination in Polish that does produce that sound is C Z. So try to take. I'm not going to say that this is not bothering me, but it's bothering me. She's talking down to me that in and let's move on. In this case, there are three rules that tell us when we should use CH in Polish words. So the first rule is if a word needs an H sound at the very end, that needs to look like a CH. So if a word needs an H sound at the very end, it has to be CH. For instance, duch, dach, zuch, proch, mech, fartuch, brzuch. And the CH in Polish sounds like H. So it sounds exactly like the letter H. But it's all about the rules of grammar when we use H and when we use CH. So some nouns will have CH at the end in their default form. When I say default form, I mean that the noun has not undergone any case change. Remember, nouns in Polish have seven cases, meaning that the word, say it's a noun, will change seven times in its obvious structure and sound depending on the context. So some nouns will have a CH at the end in their default form, and some nouns will include a CH at the end only when they have undergone a case change. Rule number two, use CH instead of H when the noun in one of its case changes changes to an SZ, which is another letter pair that I will cover in a future video. For instance, muha, muszka, ucho, uszka. Rule number three, always use CH if you're looking for the H sound, right? CH instead of H after the letter S. For instance, shab, 
wyschnąć, schody, wschód. Now, if your Polish last name has a C-H... Oh, no, this didn't seem like it was... I mean, yeah, they gave me a bunch of examples, but do I feel like I'm closer to the answer? I'm not going to say that this particular person is weird. Polish girl next door. So she might live in Poland. Witam ponownie na moim kanale. Welcome back to my channel. Here's everything that I think you should take with you in your personal item or carry-on bag to have the most comfortable experience traveling. You're going to want a blanket with you. No, I'm done. I, I, I gave this channel a chance. I just... Like, I'm looking to learn, learn. I kind of learn. I mean, talk down to you. I only, uh, okay, wait, wait. Let me judge my my energy level. I don't feel like it's a, it's bad, but that kind of was bringing me, was dragging me down. Hello. Not because I was In this really lecture, confused. you will learn about the Polish diagraphs, which are the combinations of two letters. Answer. Diagraphs are not given any special treatment in alphabetical ordering. Okay, good, good. And there are seven diagraphs that you need to remember. All right, let's start. The first diagraph is the combination of two letters, C and H. You should pronounce it as H, H, like chleb, chleb. Please take note that it is pronounced the same as the single letter H. Next is the combination of C and Z. And you should pronounce it as CH. CH. Like CHAPKA. CHAPKA. CH. CHAPKA. Oh, wait, wait a second. See? I'm already getting somewhere. This is insane. I can take notes. Ch is a is a no C Z C Z that's the digraph that's a digraph and that's a digraph all right we got somewhere Ch and then and then it says sounds like crazy sounds like Ch like chapka like and then it gives you examples chapka. Shapka, which is cat. Uh, do I want to do that? I want to put English in there. No, no, no. Shapka. I should know this. I should know it. Okay. Now. It as ha. Ha. Like chleb. ha. So like chleb. So C H is chleb. Mm -hmm. Please take note that ha. it is pronounced the same as the single letter ha. Shampoo, sha, sha, um, bon, bon, sha, bon, sha, sha, um, bon, sha, bon, sha, bon. Next is the combination of S and Z. I'm, I'm excited. And you should pronounce it as sh, 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 like. Shampon. Shampon. Oh, I got Shampon. it. Shampon. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations to me. I'm ex I'm excited. R Z. And it's jit. Jit. The same as um what is it? Get more information. Same as and then he goes special Z. Am I in English? Ooh, let's switch to Polish. I should erase English from my, my thing. And 
until I need it again. There's no beaming but on Polish doll, right? Oh, it wouldn't be there. Okay. Je. And it's like rij, jet. So this would be jab, zap, jab, jet, jabra, jabra. Next is the combination of R and Z. And you should pronounce it as Zet. Zet. Like Zeźba. Zeźba. Combination of these two letters is pronounced the same as a single letter Zet. Next is the combination. What's this in the let me see his notes? Uh, okay, cool. Next is DZ. Alright. DZ and the French. G G Is the combination of D and Z, and you should pronounce it as Z, 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 like Zban, 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 Zban. Wait, I'm gonna stop pausing it. Zban. Another one is the combination of D. And the letter jet, and you should pronounce it as G, G, like Jivig, Jivig. Okay, and the last diagram is the combination of D and the letter jet, and you should pronounce it as. J, 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 like gem, 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 gem. Okay, let's go through all of the diagraphs again. H, C, Z, Z, Z. G, G, J. J. All right, I will say it again. Try to repeat after me. Absolutely, sir. Ha, ha, ch, ch, sh, sh, jet, jet, z, z, g, g. J. J. All right, that's all the diagraphs that you need to know. Try to practice pronunciation. Okay. Polish diagraphs, diagraphs, search. Advanced lessons. So I'm going to make a list of all of them. That's going to be my goal today. I'm going to put it on to my notes. I don't understand this one. And is in... <laughs> this is hilarious. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm okay being wrong. Maybe I did, I'm reading this wrong. Niger. Okay. That was so close. Niger. That is not very often what I thought it was. 
<laughs> ah, that's funny. Super funny. Anyways, Niger. Why didn't they put Tiger? Uh, Niger, G's and Niger. I'm putting Tiger. Oh, you're not gonna keep that bullshit going. Is there tie graphs? I guess. Ch -ch. Chair. Ch Air. Okay. So we're going to be making this. My notes are going to be all about this today. If you're following along, I'm just doing all die graphs today. And I'm going to just go through them all. So CH was Hleb. And then. Another word for it is Sushane. Sushane. Let me see what that, that word is. Polish. Suche. 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 And then what was the other one? Chleb. Chleb. Suche. Chleb. Suche. Okay. I could see that being. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. So hey, dry. Cause it's gonna have to be a. Okay. Now, CI. Do I have a CI? I'm gonna start alphabetically, so it's just easy for me. So it's CH. And then it's gonna be CI after CH. C I. Alright. And then I'm gonna put in parentheses C I C H S. Alright. Now we put C H S in Creek. Chepwo. 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 So it's che, 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 po, che. So instead of ci, si, it would be che, po, chepwo, chepwo. 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 Like cheek. Che, che, cheek. Chepwo. Chepwo. Cheek. Okay. We got some progressa. I made that word up. Uh, we're going to add another letter to this one. C, I. All right, CZ, chalk. This is like CZ for a second. Chapka, Zapka. Let me see what this one is. Czekać. 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 Okay, we have other words to go through. Czekać. Czepka. Czepka. Czepkaś. Czepka. Okay, we got some words and it's like chalk, like chalk, ch or ch, like chalk. Okay, we got a system coming, what was it, C-I, no, I did C-H, I didn't do C-H, C-H, I did like Scottish, C-H, okay, boom, all right. And then we're putting the CZ at the end because we're going alphabetical, so I can find stuff later. And I'll rearrange that. No. Okay, yes. All right, next one would be DZ. DZ is here. And we'll pull that. And that goes after CZ. We're going alphabetical because what was that other guy talking about? Okay. So DZ is this. Like in goods, this, this bond, this bond, this bond, and then they go. Their example was this word. Pieniądze, money. Pieniądze, pieniądze, 
Pieniądze. 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 Ze. Ze goods. Ze goods. Pieniądze. 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 Oh, we are getting somewhere. This is good as a bunny. DZ got it. No, DIZ. Do we have DIZ? Nope. That's a trigraph. That's three letters. DZI. And then where the quotation is. Oh no no, it's not. Do. Duke. Duke. Oh wow. Okay. I could see I'm gonna be taking this kind of super serious. So just expect this list to get very analytical because now I'm jumping from um, exposure to analytics in my brain. I'm just letting you know what's happening. Like, okay, I'll give you an example of what happened to me when I was like, when I was, when I was making beats, I was making music, and I would take samples, and I would, and I spent a ridiculous amount of time, months, buying CDs online, converting them to MP3s, separating them, like, I feel like I'm getting the same thing, and it's something that I'm very familiar with, from my analytical brain, is how it works, Right? Okay, now. Tijen. Tijen. Jen. Do. Tijen. Do Jen. Tijen. Jen. Their example doesn't sound like Duke. Like do? No. Oh, it doesn't sound like Duke. It's a do. Tijen. Tijen. D. Do Jen. Tijen. That is a horrible example. Just saying, you know what I need now? A better example. That's what I need. Um, Polish vocabulary. Core uh, 100 words. Give me a big list, please. Is this a big list? Jesus. Can I search a part of it? Can I just search? Wait, wait, wait. D-I-Z. 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 Jen Dobre. <laughs> oh! I got a resource. Tydzień. Tydzień. Siedem dni w tygodniu. Siedem. That, okay, why is the example not lining up? Need one more example? No, I don't. Okay, to Jen. Did I just really put that? Is that the same word? Why does it say mosque? Oh, it says week under this. Okay. Dziś. Dziś. Okay, it does say week. Dziś. 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 That's another... That's another example of the D. Where am I at? D I Z. Okay. To Jen. Dish. Today. Okay, now what's another one? Gojina. Gojina. So it's saying noun and feminine. I will take all that information. Gojina. G, G, okay. Gojina. Tijen. Dziś. Gojina. Gojina, fem. And then that means hour. All right, let's take another one. Gojina. Przychodzić. How many do I need? I'm gonna go with all of them. <laughs> Hell yeah. Widzieć. 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 
So I'm using a common, my common thing that I'll be using is, this is the D-I-E. So all these words will be D-Z-I spelling in them. That will bring us to where we're going. Fuck yeah. Oh, I swear. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. That's saying good morning. Yeah, so if you're with... Oh, that nigga caught me. That nigga caught me. Dzień dobry. Oh. Oh, now I'm all over the place. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Okay, cool. Dziękuję. 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 All right, we got another one. Thank you. These are all examples. The Z one. I'll bring one more. Październik. Październik. These are all words with this sound in it, and I just needed a ridiculous amount. So like. Did it work? Yes, it worked. Boy, am I going to... I don't care if I don't finish today. I'm going to just go as far as I can. Now let's go CH. We'll just start back from where we started. I like this site. Pochnich. Oh, it's cool. And, okay, it's going to be a cool way of bringing back old vocabulary because it's only going to be pulling from... Okay. So don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. That's a verb. CH. Chleb. Soche. Prodzić. Przychodzić. Przychodzić. I'm gonna. If they don't have that. Wait a second. Where was I? Where was I? We're gonna have to bring that in. That psh. Because that's all over the place, and it's hard for me to say. So I'm going to invent my own trigraph for the word that I'm having the worst time with. Okay. And that means come. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New trigraph. Let me see how much time, how many times this pops up. Search. It's without the Y. Search. Przychodzić. Wieprzowina. Sprzedawca. See? That thing's all over the place. That's my. I'm adding that one. What A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 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 L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Anyway, it goes down. All right, we're gonna put that down. Um, psh, like pressure. Pr okay, I don't know, but we're gonna start off with that. I don't know what it sounds like. Hopefully, this is not a uh, made-up trigraph, but it's tree. Three is psh, tr. No, that's a different one. Tr. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one in there. I'll put the um the answers later. But right now, I'm just wanting to get those in there because that one is ridiculous. It's hard for me to say. Now, let's see what's the Polish trigraph. But it's with the same thing. Przemyśl. So we got another one. And then there was another one in here. Przemyśl. Same one. Przemyśl. But wait, wait, wait. Why didn't it say it? Oh, these combination sounds. Okay, now I'm reading the actual document. 
combination of letters. Wow, this needs to be way bigger. I can't see it. Um, let's go. Let's go and give this in full screen. Let's examine this. Divorcing the final consonant. Ooh, post pronunciation. I'm just going to go ahead and read this by Fei Belong Bus Bus Busang. I'm gonna put this in there. This seems this is a text talk. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna put this at the. Wait, no, no. I'm gonna put this at the top so you can find it right away. So it'll be right under there. That'd be one of the. Oh, and let me bring up this colored Polish thing. What is it? Okay, what does it mean? Dialogue, why am I not on now? I might go in buy this but not I don't feel like it right now we'll just use these for a quick reference guide you see what I'm looking it's Polish 101 so I remember seeing this way when I first started so it doesn't do anything for me okay good um, but I'm gonna put Polish 101 as a resource for vocabulary. Nope. It does it okay, so I don't like the way that it's set up, but whatever. Whatever this is, Polish Polish Pod 101. I guess we have to um, that's not something we I'm gonna go through a bunch of stuff. I guess I should bring in my references at the top of the blog so you know where I pulled everything from. And I can give people credit. Because what I'm about to do is I'm going to attack this like college. All right, all right. Back to this one. Um, Polish pronunciation. Based off the talk given in the International Seminar of the Jewish Category in Washington, D.C. on July 20th, 2003. Those of you who may have known me may wonder why I wonder why it is I am giving this talk and not in my Polish-born husband Julian face a girl certainly his pronunciation is better than mine but he is in str I don't know that word let's find it in both Polish and English where is my there we go at the end instinctive Instinctowne. Instinctowne. Instinctive. But mine is instinctive. He has not had to learn to filter the pronunciation through another language as you or I must do. Besides, as in religion, it's often it's often recently converted to who's the most eager to proselytize. What the hell does that mean? Oh, it's a religious thing. Okay, I'm not that religious. So, why would I know that much? While the post pronunciation is certainly difficult, unlike English, it does have rules, and once you learn them, you can tell virtually every any word should be pronounced. Um, however, pronouncing it correctly might be take a little practice to get the lips and tongue to perform in a ways that are not accustomed. One thing to keep in mind is the accent of Polish words is always on the man. penultimate. Penultimate. 
przedostatnim. Penultimate. At the onset, outset, I would like to, I'd like to make it clear that we are talking in the Polish pronunciation and spelling of names and places and not the Yiddish German pronunciation or spelling that was used in some parts of Poland. We will begin our discussion with a few words about the voc vocalization, which is a, a Polish pronunciation and it plays an important role. There are certain parts, there are certain pairs of letters that are formed by the lips in almost the same way, but they sound different because they sound different because one of them is voiced and one of them is not. For instance, when you say the letter B, you use you um you use your vocal cords. You use your vocal cords. You feel it in your throat when you say P. You use the same letter from your lips much the same way, but the sound doesn't resonate in the throat. Please say P and B and see if you could feel the difference. P, P, B, 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 uh, B, P, E. I don't know. I feel it in my throat too. P, P. I guess I started B, B, B. B, okay, if we're starting in the beginning, the B, B is coming from B, P, 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 P. The beginning of P is all in my, okay, I get that part. So true if you use the word D, 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 which is voiced and T, 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 which is not. Similarly, G, G, G is paired with K, G, K, 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 G, K. And p, 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 which pronounced with a V in Polish, v, v. Okay, I like where this is going so far. Let's finish reading this. Um, is paired with a, f, f, and z, z, z. Is paired with s, s, s. In the second column, an additional pairs in the sounds. You don't have to memorize them. Just go as long as you understand the concept. The reason is that it's important to understand the concept that's under certain circumstances. In a conditional, in, in a consonant that is usually voiced becomes divorced. This happens when it occurs to the end of the word or even in the middle of the word if it follows a divorced consonant. In other words, if a B, which is voiced, occurs at the end of the word, it's pronounced as if it was a P. P, P. If a D, D, is um, occurs at the end of the um, end of the word. It's pronounced as if it was a t, 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 t and so on and so forth. Um, I like to point out the p in Polish as inspired um, has aspirated as much as 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 is aspirated as much as I know what aspirated means, but I'm going to double check it. Aspirated. Przydechowy. Przydechowy. Aspirated refers to the act of withdrawing fluid tissue or substance through a needle. Also, uh, oh, like breathing. Got it. P is not as aspirated. Br wow. The person who wrote this is a <laughs> Faye Bus Busgang? Vogel Busgang? Oh. Don't get in an argument with her. You won't even understand how surgical her. <laughs> that is such a well placed word. That's crazy. I just want to give you an example of great penmanship. Great. Penmanship. That's insane. 
I like to point out that the P in Polish is not aspirated as much as in most English words. It is P, but P is different when, um, so the difference between B and P is not so great. P, B, B, P, B, 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 P, P, so great. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Divorcing the final consonant. I'm here to go through this. So if you don't, like some of my videos might not be this wordy and be this analytical. This one is going to be, and I'm going to be going for a full understanding, even if I'm going to be relapsing into other, uh, uh, if I go back into the same topic over and over again. Like I might go through certain things and skim over them if I recognize that I already covered it. And I might go into great understanding through some because there might be a better explanation. So, mind you, I will be going into analytical stand mode. Divorcing the final consonant. Here's a few examples of words where the final consonant is diversed. Club. 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 Why does it sound like weird? Club. 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 That's what I thought. Club. It's pronounced club. Club. Or group. Or groot. Let me see if I can just get it. Or groot. Garden. Or groot. Okay. Or groot. Pronounced or groot. Garden. Bug. Buck, buck. Oh, buck. What is B U K? Back. No. Book. No, it's bug. One last time. Bug. Book. Book. Bug. Okay, bru, bruf. Okay, let's look at that one. Bruf. Eyebrow. Bref. Bref. Okay, bref. Divorcing the final consonant. Bref. Oh, uh, here's a. Uh, raz. Pronounced raz. Okay, before I don't know. I I mean I'm. I went through all the examples. I don't know exactly what she's talking about. Krub, krub, like just because the B sounding is announced different. I think I understand that already. Okay, before going into alphabetical letters, let me see something real quick. Anybody's in, involved in this craziness? Right, right, right. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dark Rose. Okay, um, before going to alphabetical letters, I like to first take first to take a look at some of the combination letters um, that are particularly troublesome for English speakers. Of course, all the sounds I'm giving to you are approximants and may be pronounced slightly different by the native speaker. First, let's take a look at C Z. <laughs> what up, bitch? What up, C Z? Where are you at? It's easy. Okay. At first glance, you may not know um, how to pronounce it, but if I ask you to pronounce a word as a first example, my guess is that one of them have a difficulty pronouncing Chesh, Chesh, Shlonova. Chesh, Nova. Let me see if I can pronounce it again. Czechoslovakia. 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 Vakia. Even though in the country itself it's no, it no longer exists, well, Polish is very familiar with the Czech language, and the Polish CZ, CZ, is pronounced in the same English as Ch. So, whenever you see CZ, you can think of Czechoslovakia. Probably not. I can't think of an equally good example for CZ, but perhaps, or SC, but perhaps one of you has learned CZ and pronounced it CH 
So it seems to be um it so it will not seem so far fetched that S Z is pronounced like sh. Thus, you will see sh shlama 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 mud blood. Never heard that in my life. That's the first time you're hearing the English or <laughs> this is the first time you're hearing the English or Polish version of any word. <laughs> What is a M M S C Shlama? All right, cool. Shlama or Shmuel. I'm gonna put that. In. I'm just gonna put them in here. Shlama Shmuel or Shmon. Shmon. Come on, brother. All right. So I might go a little slow. There's no. This isn't like, this is my, I'm studying here, whatever. Okay, you know how to pronounce them. RZ is a little trickier. It's not pronounced R, it's, it's not pronounced RH, as you might expect from the previous examples. Instead, it's pronounced ZSH, Z, which is, um, which is phonically the same as Z, with a dot over it, a Z with a dot over it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I mean, I can stop right here. It's pronounced as Z. I'm like, cool. With a dot over it. What are you talking about? So whenever you see R Z, try to forget the R entirely. Its only signal is Z. Following should be vocalized as Z, Z, Z. Neither have an R in it. Okay. I need to hear some of these words. I mean, Brzeziny. Brzeziny. That's not even, that's not even translatable. I mean, Google, what is it? RZ? Okay, RZ, RZ. That's PR. RZ. Okay, boom. I do that. No worries. Okay. I'm going to read this article. I'm just going to save these. I'm going to document them. RZ, R. Did I just miss it? Or is he okay right here? I'm just gonna document them. Cool, 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 cool. Um, but you have the R, the sound, and all of them. Polish CH um, sounds fairly easy for most of you since it is aspirated similarly to the CH, ch, like Chala or Halim, Halemo? No, Ha, Cleary, Sham, Wawano? Ooh. Let me see, baby. Chela. 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 So we're using the CH now. That's in the top. Chela or... Wait, I want to see what this word is. Helmno. Helmno. Helm no. Helm no. This sounds like hell no. Helm no. Helm no. Helm no. Helm no. But what does it mean though? Is that just like a made up word? Wait a second. Let me look it up. Hell no. What does it mean? Oh, it's a town. So yeah, it's going to mean what it means because the name of the city is located in Poland, doesn't need to be. Got it, got it. What up, Lord? What up, <laughs> Where am I at? Helmo, but it's not quite as gradual as CH in Hebrew. Oh. Pairs with the sound. RZ is phonetically equal to Z, so H alone is pronounced CH. And O is the sound of O. Is O. There are other combinations later that are considered to be spelled of equivalence. The consonant you see in the slash over called the Kresha? Accent. You got accent? Line. Kreska. Kreska. Or the Kreska has been softened and added as uh, 
hundred. Okay. Diacritical. Diacritical. Serving to indicate pronunciations of both letters which below it doesn't appear there. Diacritical. Holy. Diacrityczny. Wow, that's probably the most interesting Polish word I've came across. Diacrityczny. 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 Tich, tish, ne. Tish, ne. Tra, kra, kra, tish, ne. Let me see if I got it. Tra, kra, tish, ne. Tra, kra, tish, ne? Yes, yes. Tra, kra, tish, ne? Ethical. Whatever. I'm not supposed to get that word in the first try. Thy radical mark by adding I after the consonant accomplishes the same thing, therefore C with a slash is a C with a slash is considered equivalent to ch ni or ni and so on, which is the kreska or I used in the spelling simply depends on the position of the letter of the word before a vowel and the I form is used. Otherwise, the kreshka is usually used. Well, to go over the pronunciation of these letters a little letter later. I didn't really follow that. I read all the words, though. Hopefully, we do. Before we go on to regular vowels, I'd like to take a look at the two Polish more words I've never heard before. Nasalized. Nasalized. I know what nasalized was. Nasalized vowels, which are confusing for some people. The variations of the A and E, which um, have a little hook at the bottom of them, is called a onyek. Oganek. This is Oganek. Is it both saying? Such a weird channel. Okay, Oganek, which means tail. These sounds with an A and an E are nasalized, similar to French on or in which in French you cannot distinguish whether the letter following is nasal vowel, m, or n, like fin or famine. Oh, interesting. I pronounced exactly the same as fin, fin. Interesting. In Polish, this is not always true. If A or the I, A, or A, A, I don't know how to say these, come before B or P, the nasalization is less, and therefore the M sound is, follow, um, is following them as here. Dombrova. Dombrova. That must be another city. Dębin. 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 In most cases, you will hear, on the other hand, if a A or that A or that E with a tail are before C, H, F, or W, or any of these S or Zs, you should leave out the N or the M and just nasalize the vowel as in French. As it turns out, there's a very few um, geographical places and name, names in this category that are well known as you could, as could find our Shaliza. 
I've never even heard this stuff. I'm prevented from going faster. Shlonsk. Shlonsk. This got real confusing here. Which Polish is? I don't understand that. I'm skipping this whole little situation. Is that in Yiddish? I'm not learning Yiddish. Okay. Um, I will not. I will now go through some of the other letters and clusters of letters. If I do not mention a letter at all, it means that it's similar enough to English, it's not worth spending time on. Vowels like Polish A, short like A, is like ha, or like Krakow, random. Polish E is like eh, like that. I don't, can't even say these words. Mielec. Mielec. I'm learning, man. I'm putting words back in here. Przemyśl. 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 I didn't say it right. Or like I. E. Like B. Katowice. Wieliczka. 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 Or Y. Short for I, like in fit. I'm, I'm going to go through these, even though this is taking forever. And Gdynia. 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 Gdyn, Gdyn, Gdynia. But I'm not really seeing... I'm just, I guess I don't have a command. Działoszyce. 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 3D. Działoszyce. The devil. I don't know. Couldn't get it. Well, no. Uh, oh, it's open like, oh, it's about to use blah, 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 whatever, 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 whatever. Clearly, I know the uh, the vowel is supposed to sound different. Do I go through the single letter? I can't. Maybe in like a three letter words. Like if they're short words, I could go through all the ah, as, e, i, o, u, os, os, like book, boot, loads, loads, crack, oof, oof. Yeah. And many consonants of Polish are similar to English. I don't know. I'm thinking about creating a thing for this. But not really. I'm going to stick to the die, the die ones. So that I could just focus on getting those words out. And then I'll be able to recognize specific saying. Like I, I, like I was said, they were saying. Yeah. Many of the consonants of Polish are similar to those of English. However, following the consonants differ. And Polish C is never pronounced like K. And Polish C is pronounced like nice. So it's pronounced like t -s, t -s, which, like as an eats. What the fuck? <laughs> so you see Potoski. Potoski. You see. Potoski. Taught me how to say that word. She just taught me how to say that word. I read how to. Okay, that excited me. Potoki, which is. Mielets. 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 Katowice. 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 Ka. To. Vi. Katowice. 
Hey, Google, show me the front door. Got it. Streaming the front door. Hey, Google, stop. Thought somebody was trying to break into my house. Okay, as the J is pronounced like J as in journal or Jew, but it's not pronounced like, oh, the J is not pronounced like J as in journal or Jew. Um, it's pronounced like Y, like Y in year, yeah, yeah, year, yeah, yeah, like in yab, yab, yabok, yobok, yabok, yab, yakob, yakob. Come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me something nice. Yakob. Yakob. What if I take out this part? Yakob. Like Jacob. All right. They're giving me really bad examples. Maybe they're good examples, but I want them to say something. Yankil. Yankil, like Daniel. Yankil, which begins with J, like as in... These are a lot of, like, very specific, can't mess them up. They don't go nowhere. Yaroslav. Yaroslav, like locations, probably, or names. Um, L with a slash is Yeo. It's called Yeo. And it does not sound like L. It sounds like the like W, like in wood. Although the second largest city in Poland is Lodz, which in English, in Polish it's Wodz. 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 And the city in the upper right hand corner. There's a lot of cities. It's all cities. Affinity there for cities. Białystok. 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 Bowie, whatever. This seems to be far fetched to you, but in actually, in the terms of English, L takes on a W sound, which is, for instance, the ball, like spelled like ball, which is pronounced virtually bawl. 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 Which a W kind of sounds like a V, like in van. And you should a different in modern generation. The W Volkswagen, what wagon, Volkswagen, Volkswagen. So it's Volek, 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 Volek. Wrocław. 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 Because I don't know any of these words, it doesn't make any sense. Warszawa. 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 I'm going to sit down. My legs are giving out on me. Let me keep reading this though. Warszawa. When you look at the word L, like, like, wow, wolf, or pronounce. Like F? I don't know. Is that like this my face? Pronounce F like this is getting hard to follow. Lvov. Lvov. Wrocław. N slash. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, maybe you'll get more out of it than I did. I need to go back to where I was starting at because I was looking for stuff. Where was I currently doing it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was currently doing. Going here, and I was putting it in. Pishma. 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 And that is the C. 
CI. Where is CI in there? CI right here. Kwiecień. 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 CI. Jagnięcina. Ciało. 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 So basically, I have to build myself through these digraphs into understanding all of them. Because I'm gonna have, these words are gonna have multiple digraphs in them. So that means I'm gonna have to keep going through them all. And then get proper pronunciations and it'll walk me through each word and I'll be able to like start at one trigraph level and you know build my vocabulary through there. Just to work in the trigraphs, I'll probably put like five or six examples in each one and then just keep on moving forward and forward and forward from there. Who knows how long this how big this gets. Am I still wait a minute? I was okay, so I did do that. Let's go do another lesson. Say the word. Z. 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 Okay, this video makes me want to go to bed. I don't feel like it's where I need to be. Okay, this guy's going fast. This is a three minute video. Let's see what he says. Hello guys, so in the previous video you learned Xi Chi Xi. It's a digraph and a short letter, okay? So in this video we will learn more. So the same as in the previous video, there's a restriction on how we can use the short letters so so these short versions can be followed only by a consonant okay unlike the long versions which can be followed by both consonant or vowel so how to pronounce these sounds we actually saw the, an example of ni in the previous video uh, if you still struggle with it but by a chance you learned one of these languages like french italian spanish catalan or portuguese or others which, of which I don't know, um, they use actually this sound and they write it as. 
So as far as G is concerned, the G sound in Polish is very similar to English G. Again, G has so many ways of uh, pronouncing it. Um, okay, so we'll see an example of English word. This G here is very similar to Polish G. Okay, it's actually almost the same sound. So now we'll see some real-world example examples of Polish words. So the first one will be nie, ni, e, ni, e. Quickly, nie. You already know this word. It means no in Polish. So we can see that ni, the long ni, can be followed by a vowel, but it can also be followed by a consonant, like in like in nikt, no one. Okay, it means no one. Nikt, nikt. Okay, another example. This time we'll see the G. Okay, so so jad jad means old man, and jiki means wild. Okay, jiki jiki. Okay, so now we'll see the short letters ni and g examples of them. Okay, so the first one will be banka. I think this guy is okay. From a knowledgeable standpoint, I feel like he's hella knowledgeable, right? But from a, like, me actually understanding what the hell he's talking about, he's flying through this. I feel like this has been overly pushed forward. So it's kind of, nah, nah, man. You're going way too fast. And if somebody was trying to actually learn this, even from your examples it being great examples, you just move way too fast and there's no, I, I can't keep up with that. See, that's where I, would, I need to look like some weird notebook like this. How to teach kids digraphs and chart graphs. Entire list. Which is Ram, so this is how you're gonna to progress to four letter words from first one left other words in the same family of words like ram cam until the age of six but some have seven so we're going to cover all seven today and they might be more in different uh school systems so let's get started with ch that is ch the beginning sound of ch is chat chest chip the ending sound of ch, uh, ch, ch would be fetch latch clench clutch rich Holy shit do you fucking see that Do you see that? That's insane. Okay, we have now need to go from beginning and ending using these digraphs. What? That is mind blowing. This person's more advanced. But from a actually learning technique, this person got it from like, the, a, clearly English is their second language, but from an intelligence, intelligence was their first like this is a highly intelligent way of breaking things down for like teaching is its own art form like I have so many smart friends that are horrible teachers so Hleb would be beginning Shala Hlemo Helmo Shala Helmo would be beginning so um digraphs separate for beginning words and ending words got it wow that's awesome that's like truly impressive and this is just english but it would work for any language using a digraph and when hyphen dolphin you can hear the sound of in the, the breath i saw you know in my head i was thinking but this like this one right here it was um suche 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 dry i was like oh but that's middle she got that and in the middle right there i was thinking i said separate from beginning beginning words I'm gonna have to make this big I'm gonna bold it you want beginning words separate from beginning words and middle and ending and ending get out of there that's insane
Okay. Boom. Fucking, you, you're literally watching me put it together. It's not even talking to English. All right, Polish digraph. So there's this guy pronouncing Polish names. People also watch. The guy to the Polish alphabet. Let's go. To my channel, my name is Avelina and welcome to another Polish lesson. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce two letter combination such as SZ, CZ, DZ. If you are studying Polish right now, or if you ever seen a Polish word or a sentence, I am sure you came across two letter combination and you probably thought to yourself, how in the world do I pronounce this? So in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce it. So grab a pen and paper if that's what you need to do. Otherwise, just remember, repeat with me, say it with me, and yeah, let's just get started. Also, and this is just a reminder, if you are not my subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you would like to follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff, there, all the links are down in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much for being here, and let's get to studying. So the first two-letter combination is S-Z. And in Polish, you pronounce that sh. 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 Like sh. In Polish, szafa. Szafa. Like szafa. Szafa. Sha. Sha. Fa. Szafa is closet in Polish. So S C Sh. Next one is C Z, and that is Ch. 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 Like Chas. 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 Chas in Polish is time. Chas. Chas. Ch. Ch. Chas. My thing is. This should be like an hour long video, just like in YouTube. It should be an hour long video where you go beginning words, middle words, ending words. And that should like literally bring you to like, like this is such an important part of learning the language in Polish. And I'm just not seeing great videos on it, which is insane. But yeah, let's keep going. Another one is D Z. And that makes it Z. 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 Like Zvonek. Zvonek, which means bell in Polish. Zvonek. Like ding dong, Zvonek, bell. Zvonek, z. Z. We also have a combination of R, Z, which makes it Z. 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 Like Rzeka. Rzeka in Polish is river. Rzeka. Z. So let's go from the beginning. The first one is sh, 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 sh like shafa, sh, like shafa. Then we have ch, ch, ch. It's more like almost like spitting, but but not obviously you're not spitting, but it's like ch, ch, like chore, czas, czas, time in Polish. Next one is Z. 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 What was it? Dzwonek. <laughs> Dzwonek. Bell in Polish. Dzwonek. Z. Z. 
And the last one is Z, RZ, Z, like Zeka, river in Polish. Zeka, Z. You can also come across D, Z with the little accent, and that would be pronounced G. G. It's not very common, but you can come across of it. G. G. Or D, Z, dot. D, Z, dot, that would be D. G. 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 Like I said, you might not see it too much as the other one, but there is a possibility that that is a two-letter uh, combination. So you might see that as well. All right, you guys, and this will be it for today. I hope this lesson gave you a little bit more clarity on how to pronounce Polish words when you see Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, this is Darek. Let's Polish. Today I would like to tell you something serious. Yes, another serious lesson about pronunciation, about the differences between szy, si, czy, and ci. Because some of you asked me about it, how to pronounce those things, those diagraphs, and also accents. Because she, she, it's typical for Polish language. All right, so you're not sure how to pronounce it properly. And now I want to explain it. And also I will give you some examples. And first rule for today. Remember that I am not a Polish teacher. I am not a spe specialist in this case. So I can tell you something about it only basing on my knowledge as a Polish native speaker. I will tell you how I feel. So don't take my definitions too serious, but I hope it will be clear and easy enough to understand. All right, czy and czy. I already recorded videos about those two diagraphs. You can find it in the description below. Between the video and the description, you can find the bar and there you can find this. Remember about this because it's very helpful for me. It shows that you like my videos and you want me to record something new. So we got she and czy, but we need also she and ci. This is something a little bit different. Actually, it's totally different. Take a look one more time. She, like szczur, or szczęście, or szczególnie. And now she, like ścierka, or ściągać, or ściskać. And now some examples. Szczególnie śliska szczoteczka. Szczególnie śliska szczoteczka. You see, she, I would say, is softer. And now important information. When you see s, i, sounds like she also, not c. For example, sikać, to p. We don't say sikać or silny, we say silny. At the beginning, it will be hard to, maybe it will be hard to recognize which. I mean, I'm hearing a bunch of unique words, but I'm not, it's not being put in a manner in which I want it to be yet. So this one is not a pass or a fail, it's in the middle of the name. It works, I guess. I don't know how 18,000 people found this. How they felt about hearing it. And I end up. This, Polish is not that hard. Uh, a few months. And this brings me back to why I'm learning Polish. So the reason why I'm learning Polish is not to like visit Poland or anything, like, or to learn like the culture. I'm not that interested. I like I'm learning Polish because I like to learn and my wife speaks Polish and I want my kids to speak Polish. 
they might be more interested in the it's like when my it's like when I when my I would have meet my family members so I'll meet my family members and they're all like oh you're not happy to see me I'm like just be happy that you get to see my kids like I'm not trying to like see my family members but I am trying to have my family members have relationships with my children so if that's what I'm doing don't don't take it any way it's just that uh I don't know how people are receiving this. I just don't understand. Like, I, from where I'm coming from, where I want to learn, that is not helping. I mean, I guess it was my first exposure to diagram, di- um, yeah, diagrams. Maybe that I, I would say something. A, agrafka. Przepraszam, masz moje agrafki? O, ząb. Ząb mnie boli. B, Bocian, Bocian złapał żabę. Oh, she ain't messing around. <laughs> oh, she goes right to it. What? C, cytryna, cytryna jest kwaśna. Ci, ćma, ćma lata w nocy. Ci, cisza. W sali jest cisza. Ch, chomik. Chomik jest brązowy. D, Drzwi, drzwi są stare i skrzypiące. Dzi, dźwig, dźwig jest wysoki. Dzi, dzik, dzik jest niebezpieczny. Wow, she goes fast. She ain't messing around. She's fast. This would be good to hear in the car. I love the sound of this language. All over the place. Man, wait, wait, it's literally, I, I said literally, I'm fine, nature, some of these, I literally could not hear the difference, oh, yeah, everybody's coming in from different levels, so it's kind of hard to take a, a YouTube comment as understanding, but I'm gonna write, this is great. Oh, that's dope. 2008, killing it. Dr, dżdżownica. Dżdżownica jest śliska. E, Eskimos. Eskimosi mieszkają w iglo. E, ręka. Czy twoja ręka jest złamana? F, flaga. Jakie kolory są na fladze twojego kraju? Man, she flies through it. Wow, that's good. She did a great job. I'll, this is something that I want to download. Like, I have the YouTube Premium. I would like to download this just to have, like, a lightning round in my pocket. It's three and a half minutes of just straight up concentrated. My brain likes it fast. Like, I like to re- receive the information very strictly presented, very brought to me, like, right into your face and there's no wrong answers just hawk slam me through this and that's an incredible discipline yeah good okay let's see if i can find any more okay so now I feel like I have to get, hopefully I got all the digraphs, R, Z, S, H. S, Z. So let me, I'm gonna try to get this digraph list, D, Z, I. I made that one. Did I make that one? No, I said this one. D, Z, I, this one. This is that same right thing. Z, 
pesado, pesado. Trash. Like I got all those, the letter E. I'm not ready for this, but maybe this is something I should. Transformation. Okay, there's alphabet. Okay. Is there any more digraphs? I'll steal some of these enunciations. Sticking in my thing. Maybe I could just do a little research for everybody. This is in alphabetical order too. CZ chalk. And if anybody else wants to help me out with some digraphs, put it in the comments. And maybe I could get, I'll add it to, I'll add it to the, if you put it in, okay, if you put something into the comments, then I will be able to add it to my list that I'll be studying on. So if it happens today or tomorrow, and I don't get a command of where I'm going to go with this, then, uh, you know. I got that in the right place. Yeah, this is Z with a dot. Okay, and then R Z. Now I'm going to be looking for more. I'm not reading this out loud. I'm scanning it and reading in my head. Language over the years, best in time. But it's the new objective. Some of these diagraphs and the diagraphs and mimic their sounds, for example. Uh, what is this? Yes, better have like 10 million views so my guess okay everybody in the comments if you're watching this with me or you made it through this or for, for whatever reason you're here how many views do you think this I'm gonna say it better have 10 million <laughs> 11 million I got close I'm just saying just judging from when this was posted in 2000 I, I judged from when this was posted in 2010 so that video that they're posting was super popular and it over time occurred 10 million views. That's what I did in my head. That was my mathematics on that one. Okay, foreign guy in the Polish alphabet. I'm looking for Paul's friends. Okay. There's some digraphs right here. Step three, digraphs. I might go through the, the other parts, like the actual alphabet, but not now. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so let's see what they say here. Step three, digraphs and trigraphs. Even though these 
algorithms of consonants may look frightening. Now I have to know what this means. Agglomeration. Agglomeration. Never heard that word before in my life. <laughs> so many unique words. A mass collection of things uh, as a assemblage. I know assembly. I know assemble. Assemblage. Assemblage. A collection of gathering of things or people. Assemblage. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. I've never heard that word before. And it makes me happy. And it, 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 it has a, a, it's a vigor of learning that new particular word. Agglomeration. And that word sucks. Agglomeration. A mass collection of things or assemblage. <laughs> Woo! We're going through digraphs and trigraphs. Okay? Agglomerations of consonants that may look frightening. They all represent a single sound which exists in English, like CZ, like in change. CZ, like in change. I'm adding, this is just gonna be a ridiculous amount of CZ, she, like chalk. Sha. Sounds like ch in chat. C Z like ch in change. Chapka. Oh yeah, if you read through that, you might get it. First round. This first round you might get it. For example, Ponzo Pon Ponzo Ponzo. What the hell? First of all, I don't think that was a word. Custom Polonized. Polonized? The Polonized spelling of the word Spanish poncho is pronounced the English counterpart, which is a great chesh, which means hello. Don't know this word either. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. I do know that word. It was a great Polish acquaintances. Acquaintances. Now it's an English counterpart. You could also use to get it um, Greek, Polish, and Czech. Z. Shush. It's easy. Approximate to English shush, like in shape. I see. This is not in alphabetical order. Oh, it's already in there. S like shape. For example, shalal. Shalala. I'm gonna bring this to the end. Shal. 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 Oh, it is right. Okay, good. Because I was about to get angry. Shall. Shall. No. All right, all right, all right. Shall, scarf, or crochet. Crochet. Is a word that we know and it shares a few digraphs. Crochet, middle of the word. Champagne, those are all beginnings. Holy shnikes. If you're watching this live, you know I trade crypto and Bitcoin just hit 66. Anyway, let's continue, because I am not going to be thinking about my crypto here. Crochet covers them all. 
Let's try some trash news. Um, check it. Oh, there's a million likes here. Then I don't suppose I do remember it. So this part of history, I could probably get around. But I don't want to clutter my attic with so much stuff. But there are certain things that I'll take seriously in when I go to Poland. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to latch on to. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to latch on to. But this guy seems like something to... He seems... Yeah, I'm going to put him in my Polish folder. I want to take some time to do that, but right now that's not what I'm doing. Right now I'm learning. Tadeusz Kościuszko. Okay, what, where am I at? We're doing CS. So this is an example of an ending CV or SC. Right? So this is an example of the ending SC. Crochet is the ending SC. Okay, cool. So there's middle, ending. I want to take them all. RZ same as Z. Okay, it's the same thing here. Okay. Same as something here. RZ. And then the public. Trivia. All my R sounds, for example, the word is Reska River. We got that. Polish would be Rika. Reska, Reka in Russian. Okay, cool, cool, cool. These means it's close to Tis. Voice like Prozo. Is that even a good one? Even in that weird explanation? BZ. I don't know. I don't like the explanation. Zan a picture. I mean, it's the way that they write it in. Zvan. Zvan. So I'm going to be looking for more. Let me get this alert off. Can I just hide alerts? Let me see if I go into do not bother me mode. Is that a thing? Do not disturb. Okay, cool. I'm on do not disturb mode. Now hopefully I don't get weird stuff. Okay, this chair is bothering me. New chair. Go away, chair. Oh, okay. This chair feels better. Let's go with that. This bond. Wait, I'm going to take a... Uh, this is a stretch break. Stretch. Okay. Stretch and yawn. Wait, wait. Should I kick my legs? Oh, that leg is kicked. That leg is kicked. Get back to it. No, I need more. Ten. Okay. 
pitcher. This bang pitcher. BZ. I'll go back and get the. At least I know it's a real word. Zen or Neon. Zen. Gem. 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 Good. That makes sense. Foo Fire is not like tropical. You cannot pronounce. You cannot think it is. Huh? With an accent, trying to say B Z with accent should sound beautiful as is. Get the first year. Uh, I'll take this example because it looks like it might. I just thought, what if all this got erased? I would be like, I thought in my head, I would be devastated. <laughs> all that work. You know what I'm going to do just because I'm scared of all this work? Where's my notes for 19? Where's my notes for 19? I was going to, I just, for some odd reason in my head, I feel like I better, like, Save this somewhere. Oh, it's too much. Okay. Um, share. Add marker to screen. Save highlight video. I never did that before. I don't even know what this means. Create a highlight video. Duration of five minutes. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I need to find a notepad. Oh, it's like a notepad, new folder, text rich document. Oh, what was it? The vlog. Throw that in there. And I'm gonna put this in there for just in case shit goes down. Save it. That was gonna bring it back up. Cool. I don't wanna lose this one. I'm gonna spend a lot of time on this document. I don't wanna lose it. Or maybe, forget this. This might not be the best example. Let's go to bring that back up. Okay, now we're gonna go Google Drive. All right, we're gonna go to Google Drive. Go to Drive. I'm gonna make a new folder. Folder will be uh, hands learning Polish documents. All right, hands learning Polish documents. Got it. Now, this is gonna be kind of like my. How do I say this? All right, this is gonna be like. Right? 
then um, what's the name of the string? Strings for digress and what's the name of the Polish? Digress and type. Polish digress and type. All right, so I grab that information, and I'm going to name this document. That's the name, Polish Digraphs and Trigraphs, and this is just going to be my notes, right? Then I'm going to share it to a link, copy link, let me see, and I with the link. All right, copy the link, and then I'm going to bring it back here, and I'll put it in here now. You guys have access to this now I, I posted it now you have access to the my notes it will still be in the still be in the description but this one's going to be like the description is only gonna be one day this is gonna be as far as I'm willing to take this digraph and trigraph thing idea so boom you got that going for you I'm not gonna I'm a key. I'm taking off notes. I'm gonna go straight to that. Where is it? I messed it up already. Okay, we'll put these together. Boom, boom. Where's the next one? Right here. All right, done. So I'm gonna take uh, all this information. Okay, digraph, trigraph, and I'm gonna finish working on it in here. I also have my notes for note stuff, but if you have that, you should be able to put, bring it up. But this is where I'm going. I'm gonna start putting it in here and then I'll like just copy and paste it over there. But this is a little bit easier and I don't have to keep. This is, using that notepad's not bad, it's just bad for what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really working on getting you the information in a way where you don't have to worry about my scrolling. I could just give you a document, and then you could follow along in that document, and it'll be lively up, updated. Got that part 100%. Um, zish, zish. And then I can put this stuff in alphabetical order. That was bothering me. So these are digraphs, boom. Those are not alphabeticals. C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, H, I, C, H, I, J, R, S, T, U, V, W, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, alphabetical order. I added some digraphs in the bottom. Okay, we're good. All right, uh, where do we leave off over here? CH pronounced like ha. Huh. CH. CH pronounced like ha. Huh. Tag here. Oh no. Oh, shnikes. It literally changes. Shnikes. Shnikes. I don't know what to do with that. How do I do get it to not taste like an asshole? Formatting. Got it. Boy, 
That was gonna bother me. Curl backslash. Where is that on my keyboard? Let me find it. Got it. Found you. Got it. Found you. Example color. Colora. 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 Colera. Colera. Is that a real? Oh. It is. Cholera. Cholera. Uh, the alternative CH spelling again indicates that the two sounds are different at a point in history. H alone can be represented in voice. Uh, what does that even say? Glottal. Glottal. Pronounced in the glottis. Never heard that before in my life. <laughs> Learning so much about enunciation. Fricative. Fricative. <laughs> Never heard that in my life. Denoting the type denoting a type of consonant made by frictional breathing and narrow path openings producing a terminal. I'm going to throw that in the bottom of the notes just because what the F fricative. Oops, I'm sorry. Some of these cool people don't want to. Don't want that. I just want that. What was the other one? Glottal. Because some of this stuff is really like, like if you're really getting into this, and I'm, I'm, I already pre-warned everybody that this is like, like, like close to my academic way of thinking and I don't go fast but I go for full understanding so I might add some of these in here just so that you have some reference points this is for like a high like for not for anybody trying to learn the language to go to Poland for a weekend nah that's not what I'm doing here <laughs> This is like full academic, like, you know, you know, breaking down from a, a, a tongue, brrr, from a tongue, from the top of your palate, from nasal, from your glottis, which is over there. <laughs> That's insane. I'm learning a lot about enunciation and where these sounds are being actually formed. Wow. Voice through the vlek, voices through the... Wow. What is it? That for a mission? Veeler. Relating to the veal or velem. Speech pronounced in the back of the tongue and the soft palate. Kind of like k, like k and G. Man. Yeah, I'm sorry if this is going over like I'm sorry if it's going over your heads. That's not might not be for you for this particular part of where you're at in into di diaphragms and triframs. <laughs> Diagraphs and trigraphs. Yeah, you might not understand where I'm going with here, but I'm going for full understanding. And it is going to get weird and very ver ver verdy. But like, if you're going for the, these notes will be really effective for people that are getting into it. Cause I am breaking down some of this stuff for myself to understand. Like shekel, like shesh. Click. This was, oh, Czech language, which still maintains destruction also can be found still find people born in Eastern Europe or in these lungs Poland pronounced the same as herbata G why is herbata in here if you're talking about CH okay I don't know why they put that in there because I don't see CH in here at all and I get it they're trying to give me the sound so D Z I 
Polish auto dry graph. It's a tri graph. DZI. Okay, let's go to my DZI. I don't know why I don't have this yet. I'm not sure I don't have it. So the definition is on the bottom. DZI. Right here. Okay, cool. I do got it. Do. Okay, now I get to practice my control backslash. Woo! Learned a new keyboard shortcut. If you don't know anything about me, know that I like my keyboard shortcuts. Memorize them. Jevchenka. Okay. Jevchenka. Duke. Je Ju Okay, so those are diagraphs in that article. I'll force the article. I'll put that in the notes. At the top of the notes is another source. So in my notes, I'll give you all the sources. I can't put it in the description. And if I can't fit it in the description, the description gets another too wordy, I'll just make a document with the notes if it gets a little too wordy, and it might. I'm going three hours and I'm taking lots of notes. So I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. That's the problem. Yeah, we're two hours in and I feel like I just, I'm about to do a run. I'm, it might be the longest four hour video on this stupid stuff. But just know that in the notes, we'll give you a very Or I might just stop right here for the the die the die stuff. And then I need to find words to put in here. And then I also need to separate by beginning, middle, and end. Let's do that. Let's build the vocabulary in here as best we can. Or best I can. If somebody's with me, best we can. There's two of them. What was the Polish one one give me? It was a Polish dictionary. Polish dictionary. Translate. Cambridge. Trans I don't want to translate. I want to search. Okay. Now, if I just search CH, what comes up? How can I search in Polish? And then it'll bring up the Polish dictionary. Polish, Polski. Got it. Now let's look up CH. I'm not seeing a bunch of words with CH in it. Ah. Uh. Ha. Ha.
Och, jaki duży pies. Ich. Ich samochód. Cech. Chęć. These are all starting with the CH. Okay, that's not what I want. Like, I want endings in CH. Yeah. Dech. Dech. That's good. So, let's start putting this together. Dech. Okay, so we want beginning, middle, and ending. So, so this would be the word. We'll start out with the CH. I wonder if I can make it big. Now it's formatted to be ridiculous. We want it to be. I'll come back to this list. Actually, that works still. Oh, can you even go slip? Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Nope, nope. Let's go. I like that. Now let's make this big. Right there, C H. Make it big, let's make it bold. Let's underline it. That's what we'll say. I'll see I. Let's just do them all. CZ, make it completely obvious what we're doing. DZ, DZ. This is going to be DIZ, DZI. DZ with the accent. D, let's go. Let's see if I got it right. I 50 50 to get that one right. DZ with the other accent. Um, this is push. Get better at the language, we'll be able to read those letters. This is now okay, cool. All right, CH. So now, um, now we're going to put how how we say. to format it in a way that makes sense to me how to say how to say DZ, how to say how to say some of these I don't know how to say them to say and then um examples. beginning examples and we'll bold this Does bold look good beginning examples
unbold it and underline it. Is that good separation? Or just bold it? I'll go with bolding. Alright. So we got that. Do we want to space in between there? Sounding example, how to say use as in dupe. Okay, so how to say G, G. Oh no, right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we got those. Now I'm going to be searching for, now I'm going to be organizing them like pleb. This is the beginning of the sample. I might even just drag them. Sushi show the middle example. Got it. Oh, now that I just did it, now I feel like I should have, uh, Let's see if we could find more. Hotesh. Hotesh. Wah. Wah. This is an ending. Mech. Small. I feel like I got it, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm gonna focus on the ones that don't have much. All right, so beginning example, Hleb, Hlmada. 
I'm not I'm not gonna say that I got my language really but Chela. 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 Hell no. A lot of these words were not even good examples of Polish or English. Chory. Chory. So, uh, I was going away from all those beginning ones. Because... Ham. Ciepło. Ciepło. This is like really annoying. This is insane. Ciało. specific one middle of cha but ci ci c i oh, i mean ci okay these are middle CI in that list, but we want it at the end. CI Polish. So, Ching. Ching is the word we can use. Okay, we're still in that word. Uh, what did I do in my words? I mean, I can do more words because. What was the other one I was using? Nope, can't find that one. Okay, I'm going to take a break from this. I'm going to be coming back to this tomorrow. This is going to be the top of my list. And maybe when I'm off...
camera, I might go more through this one. But I feel like I'm done for this. I'm just going to be going through this. And I want to do more, but it's going to get boring to me because I'm going to go super slow. And I know it. And I don't want to do that. Like, if we're going through this, I'm, I'd am i rather give you the list and do another one and keep coming to these and make this really, really good video. But this was, like, my not knowing what it was to learning what it was to going through examples. And it's really slow, but this was my learning process in this video specifically to something that I knew nothing about. So this was... And then I want to format it in a way where if you didn't know about it, you would have some more. I want to also bring up more examples, like in English. I could probably do it. As soon as I understand the word, I could probably bring it up like... So this one right here. What would it sound like in... Jivik. G. Jivik. 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 It would just be like G's or gem, gem, like gem. That's how I would say that it would sound in English. Or it sounds like gem or mm. jeans. Yeah. Gem, jeans, G, G, jeans, gem, G, gem, yam, G, G. It's like gem. It's a good English word to pull from that. But like put it in a position where you're like saying, okay, this is the English word, this is the sound I'm looking for. And these are examples in Polish. This is how you announce them. Got it. Cool. I feel like, I just, yeah, I don't want to go further around this one because I will go all the way crazy. And I would do this for like another five hours. So let's not do that. And my keyboard's super loud on purpose. Now you know I'm joking. Now you know I'm typing. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I don't want to go further down that because this is probably the most analytical I've been with the language thus far. I'll try to like add links to it or some. Here all you can get another word. Yeah, if you made it this far, just know that I went crazy by this point. And I'm organizing my craziness. Take off formatting. Okay. 
Let's go. Uh, cool. So this has been the double double check. But yeah, that's right there. So you can find that right there. Wow. So um, we'll be going through these tomorrow, and maybe trying to, and then I might be, as I'm going through my vocabulary items, I might be adding to this list over and over and over and over again. And when I come up to certain sounding words, I might do that over and over again and just keep adding like a ridiculous amount as I'm learning, be just dumping words into here for vocabulary purposes, but also be like how to say them. And if I run into certain words, I may be able to pull forward in that, wow. Cool. I'm gonna bring this. Maybe I'm not done yet. Maybe I just lied to you. I'm telling you, I got bigger on this, so I'm not even tripping. Let me see ones that are like CI. Is there an ending to the CI? To some beginning. do I have not a lot of DZ? I need DZ words. Jish. This else is Z, is minus Z Z I. Z, is Z, Z, that's why, because D Z I is right, right next to it. Got it. And then Z Z. Let's see what the DZs are. D Z with an accent. not recognizing the accent in search that's becoming a problem for me I was like I have to find them manually Man. okay Polish. bring up anything crazy. Where was I? Try that again. Download PDF. Download PDF. I feel like this is going to give me a virus. How I check is if I bring up a bunch of them, how where do they take me they keep taking me to the same site sometimes you have to keep going to you find the one that it actually has the thing on it and it seems like they're all effed up
Let me play this. Let me play this. Let me use a PDF. I'm just looking for a PDF with a bunch of words on it. Polish dictionary. Bunch of them, words. So I was like, I want to download it. Can I search these words? Okay, we have words. We have lots of pages. Okay, what is this? Download. Uh, vlog screenshots. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. This is hilariously. forever to find this and I'll put this in notes this is the Polish dictionary you got that coming for me all right and I downloaded it cool but what I can do here is the D Z like I want to Still doing that. It's not recognizing the it's not recognizing the thing. So D Z with a I. This is a middle. Let me see if I take off full. Bankowy. 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 Bank. 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 R. R. Banken. Cool. So that works. Now, this other word that I was having problems with. P. Incontrovertible. Incontrovertible. Not able to be detained or disputed. I'm going to say that it's not a good one. Przeciwko.
Bezprzykładny. Bezczekany. Kawny. Bezprzykładny. Oh, yeah. Now, these are the type of words that I want to learn in Polish. Unparalleled. Because they sound like, that's how I talk in English. That's a word that that's a word that I would be using in Polish for the for the just like wow yeah we're getting somewhere now I'm looking for ones at the end it's an ending example is there any there's another middle example. I'm not seeing no endings. I'm seeing middles and I'm seeing beginnings, which is cool. So that doesn't have any ending examples. Now RZ. Can't use this guy because I don't need that much space over there. I need it over here. Let me zoom out just a slightly bit. Szermierz. Szerzej. Szerzej. Adventurous. That's not adventure. Am I tripping over event? No, that's not adventurous. That's why they changed the word. Because I know that word. No thanks, maybe later. Let me see. Adventurous. Adventurism. Adventurism. That's not what I wrote. Jesus Christ. But adventurous. They're not doing adventurous. I don't know. That's what they wrote in this thing. I just that I'm not wrong. I just don't know the pronunciation of that. Okay, got it. This is an ending. Yeah, you made it this far. I'll cove. This might be a little bit. I don't want to put any words that are like way too. I'll cove. A recessed wall of a room or garden. No, I don't want to do that. 
It's a little, that's a little too. Analyze, scrutinize, or explore possibilities. That is me in a nutshell. I got, this is, I like this word. Przeanalizować. Hell yeah. Where's the RZ in it? It's middle. And it means to analyze. That's precisely what I'm doing. You made it this far. Woo! Good on you. Good on you. right there master artist this is the ending Let's see what it says arcymistrz oh that's such a good word oh i'm so happy that i found this word that is such a good word grandmaster give me the fuck let's go Good word. Um, that's in the middle words. Nia umenu English. Until he dies. Umze. Umze. Will die. I probably shouldn't put that in there. But I completely understand it. Like like the car could die or like until a battery dies it's not necessarily morbid uh, womanizer I got a word for app right back Vabiash. Vabiash. womanizer got some of those in my family I could use more as the ending examples, but I'll go with this one. Green grocer. Vadilas. Vadilas. This is Alexander. Vadilas would be green But how they put it was. Coming up with this, but I we like you. Okay, I'll look for one or two more. Teller of tales. Ooh, it's got so many good words in it. Okay. So it's RZ finishes a lot of words. And I'm seeing these like accordion of like okay daybreak. This is another one. This is the middle of the word. Daybreak. Brzask. 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 Okay. So I might end up going through and adding tons of these. Now that I got it, now that I got that one thing. Where's my folder with all my notes on it? Right here.
is eagle searching my name. Realizing you can't really see and understand. And I'll look up. Okay, cool. Whatever. Stop doing that. Get it together. <laughs> Get it together. Okay, cool. This this thing is insane. Crochet. What is it? S C. S C. Crochet. So there goes that. There goes that definition. S C. There's so many versions. Eight thousand. Oh, that's ridiculous. They're all over the place. Um, who, who highlighted find? Oh, this is because they. It's in so much explanation. Froja. Froja. Brosha. See what happens if I go into the other document. Okay, it does do that. Okay, that makes it better, easier for me. S Z. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is start and end day. Maybe I could just eyeball the endings and the words. Okay, we got a word there. Ending example. Okay. Ending with the C S C. Dobos. Dorsch. Dorsch. sure what it meant by cod. This is another this is an endless cod. Fish. Okay. Cool. 
Dosłyszalny. Dosłyszalny. Audible. Audible. I haven't hit the ground running, but I feel... Whew. Building this list. Hmm. I need, see, the problem is, in Polish, I'm learning all these regular words, like fish, cat, dog, blah, 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 blah. but I don't talk like that in English. But like that wasn't audible. That's like something I would say. Let's get out of the D's. Oh, so as you see, that it gets, you can see where the, so F has a lot of it, falsehood, fake forgery. That looks interesting. Fauchesh. 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 Forger. And that's. What am I looking at? CZ. SC. That's in middle. I want to add different like beginnings to like you know F. If I'm gonna use F, let me go to a different letter. G. Genius. What does it really sound like that? Genius. 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 And this is an ending. Genius. That's genius. 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 Oh, that's awesome. Um, hmm. Do I want to continue down this PF? Team is going to, let me go look at this big, see what I got. CHCZ, CZ, EZ. Some of them, these are going to be kind of, uh, the R's and the SH's. <laughs> and I got a dictionary. I, might, I really, okay, this is the problem, and I'm not joking with you. I want to go more, and I want to keep start, I want to keep just, like, grabbing words and bringing them into this list is what I want to do, and that's the problem because I won't stop. I could already feel it. Yeah, I could definitely feel me going way further. And I don't want to bore anybody because I can't imagine this is entertaining. I don't feel like I'm being entertaining on this stream at all. But if you made it this far, yeah, I apologize. I didn't think that going in this idea would take me this far. So um, let me double check my notes. I should have went back to Google Drive. I'm going to put that in my notes. Stan learning Polish. 
and make sure that it's in my notes for sure. Because what I don't do on the on the notes, I want to make sure that it's at least here. I'll put this in first. That's the Google document that'll give you all the diagraphs. And I'll be able to update it. Diagraphs and so yeah, it's in the in the title. I will make it no nonsense. Dech. Some of these I have. Cool. Whew. Wow. Yeah, no, for real. I'm having, this was a, an amazing, like, from a pers my perspective of brain, I'm going to keep, I'm going to be building this list. Yeah. And I'm going to keep just building the list further and further. It's going to be long. It's going to be big. It's going to be different than the other list that I found. And yeah, I'm literally going to be building my vocabulary like off of this list and really force forcing it in there. And if I run into certain enunciations, I'm just going to start building, building it, building off of it. And then just keep pounding out more words through these digraphs and trigraphs as I find them. And I'm as I start struggling through words. Like tri. Let me go back to that thing. I'm having problems with three. Right. Where's three? Uh, tri. Tri. These tre tre and these tre three. That's all wrong. Oh, am I doing it? Am I doing it wrong? Three. Ch. Abstract. 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 Okay. Let me see if I can bring that up again. That's what it is. It's building the list of it. And it's an extent of one. The TR. Let me see TRY. I 
this one. Okay, no, no, no. All right, good. Citrina. One thing, it'll be easy to find the beginning, so just have to go to the T's. I can make anything one of these things. Distribution. 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 Number one. Distribution. Distribution. Okay. Trilogia. Trilogia. Trilogy. Where's three? Tri. 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 Oh. Messed up. That was looking TRY. This is cool. TRZ. Let's see what happens with that.
people, 13, third person, three-story, oh, like a three-story house. Holy, there's a word for that? Three weeks? What the? Chask. 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 Okay. So if I find myself running into a problem with announcing the word, take it to the dictionary, find all the versions of the word, and keep going through it till I get it. The enunciation of the, 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 the specific part, trask. Trask, tre, trask, tre, trask, tre. Time. Trask, tre. Helmet. Tre. Trask. Trance. Tre, trask. Crash. Tre. Tre. Trask. Clap. Trask. Crash. Okay. So, yeah. Today was very enlightening. I love the fact that I found this dictionary and it helped me with learning my enunciations. Cool. It's been a lot. This is huge. I'm not expecting anybody to watch this video. This is so ridiculous. I'm going to end the stream here. This, you know, if you just skip to the end, whatever. This in the description. I'll be working on this as I start, you know, building out my stuff. And it's not going to be the, the typical stuff. This is going to be difficult stuff to enunciate but you'll start getting it with this cool i'm in the industry i'm gonna take a shower and all that stuff good stuff good job guys for whatever good job on me because i feel like i just had a huge breakthrough today a huge breakthrough with the dictionary a huge breakthrough with understanding the um what is it yeah the dual letter associations and the triple letter associations and how that is going to move me forward in the future like you know grabbing these associations grabbing these words and you know pu pulling them together so i can get enunciations correctly see you guys later